The quest for clean transportation has car manufacturers setting their sights on alternative fuels. One intriguing option emerging from the shadows is ammonia, a compound made of nitrogen and hydrogen. Toyota, a household name in automobiles, recently joined forces with GAC, a Chinese automaker, to develop a prototype engine that runs on liquid ammonia. This collaboration has generated a buzz, but a closer look reveals significant roadblocks that ammonia must overcome before it can become mainstream fuel for our cars. The lure of ammonia is undeniable. Burning it produces almost no carbon dioxide, the villainous greenhouse gas driving climate change. This is a stark contrast to gasoline, the current king of the road. The building blocks for ammonia are also readily available. Nitrogen, a key component, makes up a whopping 78% of our atmosphere, and hydrogen can be extracted from water. Additionally, ammonia already has its foot in the transportation industry, powering ships and industrial vehicles. This existing infrastructure could potentially be adapted for ammonia-powered cars, offering a smoother transition towards a cleaner future. Now, the specific engine being worked on by Toyota is a 2-liter, 161-horsepower four-banger that seems to be naturally aspirated. Now, 160 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated 2-liter isn't bad, but that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is the 90% reduction in emissions. So is this the answer? Well, let's get into that. So there are many pros and cons when talking about this specific fuel. Now I've mentioned a bunch of pros, so let's get into the yucky parts. Now a significant hurdle is the energy intensive production of ammonia itself. Currently the process often relies on fossil fuels, negating the environmental benefits of using ammonia in the first place. Yes, we might be cleaning tailpipes, but the production plants themselves are spewing pollutants. Now, you can produce it in a green way, but that raises the price. But there's more. You see, safety is another major concern. Liquid ammonia is highly toxic and corrosive. Imagine a gas station mishap, leaks or spills during transportation, storage or even refueling. All of this could pose serious health risks and damage to infrastructure. And even if these hurdles are addressed, ammonia combustion isn't entirely a clean bill of health. While it doesn't produce CO2, it does release nitrogen oxides and nitrous oxide. These pollutants contribute to smoke formation and other respiratory problems, potentially generating a new set of health issues to tackle. Now, I will say the technology does exist to capture these pollutants in the cost catalytic converters, and GAC and Toyota say that they have installed the necessary equipment to prevent these pollutants from being released. There's also the question of long-term maintenance. The corrosive nature of ammonia could wreak havoc on fueling systems and engine components in these cars, necessitating the development of new procedures and materials to ensure their durability. Imagine taking your car in for a routine service only to find out the mechanic needs a hazmat suit to handle the fuel system. And here is my opinion on all of this. Hydrogen has many of the same challenges, but hydrogen is much cleaner than ammonia. Also, hydrogen is non-toxic, which is also much better for a fuel like this because um, it means when there's spillage or whatever, it won't cause you as a human any damage. Plus, hydrogen has also been proven to work in combustion engines, as well as fuel cells. So, in my opinion, hydrogen is the better option. Now, hydrogen is expensive to produce at the moment, but we are progressing at development of green hydrogen, and it's being pursued at the moment at a rapid pace. Storage and transportation solutions have been created, and it has even been proven to be viable as an energy source for more than just our cars. So for me, ammonia is a possible avenue, but hydrogen just makes more sense. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think of all of this? Now in this video, I didn't talk about EVs because I've made my fair share on, of videos on electric vehicles. Um, they aren't clean and they aren't the solution. But other than EVs, what do you guys believe is the future? Do you guys agree with me on a hydrogen or did I miss something on ammonia? Let me know down below and if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, um, you'll like most of my other stuff. 
So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? Thank you.